Um, you should be able to use your calculator to take uh, to find. Uh, you should be able to calculate the derivative of an inverse at a point. So that was in the three four bonus stuff that we did. Um, and there's a bunch of that practice in the multiple choice problems that I gave you guys to practice. Um, you should be able to find a first derivative using implicit differentiation as well as a second derivative the implicit differentiation and sometimes those second derivatives can be a son of a gun there so um, unless your teacher is clever and comes up with something that works out nicely um, you should be able to write the equation for a tangent line to a point even if you have an implicitly defined curve Again, we did that in the three five homeworks, right? As you write tangent lines okay. where you had like a circle or like the Limasan curve or whatever. Um, and you should be able to find the linearization for a function and use that linearization to approximate values of f of x. So again, that's mostly what we did in 310, right? What's the linearization really? Tangent line? Right? Um, for your preparations, so I put um, some multiple choice and free response questions into OneNote, as well as, you know, like a key with some worked out solutions in them. Um, so when I did this, I tried to include like a little bit of work on the side of what I used to do stuff. Um, it may not be like the completest thing in the entire world, but you know it should give you a good idea of kind of like what I did to go about doing that. If this ever wants to load in, I'll show you what I mean. I just need to be patient, apparently. Patience is hard, guys. Being patient is hard. Um, imagine trying to teach patience to a four-year-old. Oh, yeah, yeah. So again, like. You know, I wrote in some work on some of the, on the the key version of like what I did. You know, right? Everybody's okay. okay. Um, then I suggested you guys should be able to take a look at you know from section three three twelve and fourteen three four forty four through forty six. 3, 5, 25 to 29, and then the second derivatives of things like 27 to 29, uh, 3, 6, 13, and 20, and then 3, 10, 5 through 6, I thought would all or were fairly representative of the kinds of skills um, that we need to be proficient at. Um, and then just to remind you here at the end here, um, I think I had picked 60 multiple choice and then I have a couple of free response. I put them all in the same set this time instead of like two different pages. It just felt like this was just going to be simpler. Just have it all in one spot. Um, questions about any of that? Um, the tentative plan for the test date is Friday. Again, on Wednesday, we can double check and see where everybody's at. And if you'd rather, we can push the test into next week, but I would need to start lecturing on the next topic on Friday then. But that's okay if that's what we've kind of decided by, you know, a plurality that in our best interest. I know it can be kind of a hectic week. There's still a lot of stuff going on with Halloween and football playoffs and swimming and everything else that's still kind of going on through hectic parts of the year. So again, um, we'll talk again some more on Wednesday if you've had a chance to start looking things through about your relative comfort levels. Um, As far as I'm concerned, I think I'm done with you guys here. Um, obviously, I would use this time in class today and Wednesday to start kind of 
you know, grinding through some problems that you want to review or at least making up a sheet of, you know, the stuff that you need to work on. Um, as always, as you're, as you're going through some stuff, feel free to come up and talk to me if you're stuck on something or you don't understand or need some clarification or any of that kind of stuff. I would ask, though, that we try to keep um, the environment relatively calm. Um, Carmen's making something up on the side, and I'm sure would appreciate you know, an environment that would be easy to focus in. Yeah, go, go ahead. Um, so just try to keep the environment, you know, respectful for your classmate. Anything else for me? Anyone else needs to bring anything up real quick?